Harris will deliver a crucial address on the penultimate night of the Democratic Convention. News regarding the Democratic National Convention so far On the fourth and final night of the Democratic National Convention, Vice President Kamala Harris will accept her party's presidential candidacy. According to a source familiar with the speech preparations, Harris will laud President Joe Biden, outline policy positions, and discuss her personal and professional experience. Harris will conclude a convention that has featured speeches from President Joe Biden, former President Bill Clinton, former President Barack Obama, former First Lady Michelle Obama, media mogul Oprah Winfrey in a surprise appearance, and vice presidential nominee Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. Today, former President Donald Trump and running mate Senator J.D. Vance held counterprogramming. Trump visited the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona to portray Democrats as weak on border security, while Vance addressed the matter in Georgia. D.L. Hughley, an actor and comedian, joked about Trump's questioning of Harris's heritage at the convention's evening schedule. Kamala has been black longer than Trump's Republican tenure, Hughley noted. He subsequently joked about Harris and Walls's careers, saying, If you told me, the 15-year-old me, I would be on stage supporting a prosecutor and a teacher, there is no way that I would have believed you. Harris's niece, goddaughter, and stepdaughter described how Harris affected their lives. Ella Emhoff said Harris never stopped listening to me. Like many young people, I didn't always understand my feelings, but Kamala was always there for me, she said. She was kind and took me seriously. Helena Hudlin, Harris's godmother, said Harris taught her making a difference involves giving your whole heart and taking action. Reginald Hudlin introduced Harris to her husband. She claimed her aunt showed me the essence of service, 